Here I'll demonstrate the energized to release electro permanent magnet with the permanent magnet in the middle and no current through the coil. Take it to the mild steel part not to clamp onto. Holds really firmly. If I now pass the current through, the current now gives a change in the magnetic pathways on the inside and that causes the unit to release because there's no more magnetism on the end face. Our energised to hold and energised to release electromagnets are designed for use with our armature plates and the pull forces are given with those armature plates in use. You may wish to use other steelwork for your application, but bear in mind a few rules. If your steelwork is rusty and or very thin, you will get a reduced pull force. So although it holds, it's very easy to pull it apart. If there's not enough overlap between the steelwork and your electromagnet, you will get reduced pull force as well. If you have any air gaps in the way, be it actual air gaps or physical air gaps, such as non-magnetic materials, the pull forces are also greatly reduced. So for maximum performance, we recommend thick, mild steel to go with each electromagnet. As a good guide, look at our armature plate thicknesses recommended for each unit and work as that as a minimum thickness to you.